First Alert Meteorologist Aaron is in for Scott tonight. Uh, so let's talk timing, and as we zero in, get closer, the numbers are getting uh, probably more confident, right, as far as how low we'll go? Yeah, uh, clarity starts to come in as we get closer to the event. We are still expecting tomorrow to be a warm and windy day, though, and we've got some storms forecast as we head into the evening, kind of thinking midnight to 4 a.m., so almost an overnight into early Friday morning event. But Arctic air arrives this weekend. It will be cold on Friday. It will be dangerously cold as we head into Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. That's why we have issued those weather alerts starting on Sunday and going for three days in a row. Uh, it's going to be a little bit of an event. But first, let's talk about what we're expecting heading into tomorrow night. This is a cold front. This is not the Arctic cold front that we're talking about, though. So you see that level two slight risk for some strong storms, mainly to the east of 35. Ahead of this cold front arriving, we're going to have temperatures that top out in the upper 60s and low 70s. You see Bridgeport to Stephenville and farther west. We're talking 71 to 73 degrees, but going with a high of 68 for DFW, 63 in McKinney, and about 67 in Denton. We'll have a mix of sun and clouds as we head throughout the afternoon. Cloud cover increases into the evening, but you don't see much in the way of rain until we head past midnight. Then we get some shower and storm activity to kind of move up from the south. So it's following right along 35 through Hill County into Ellis and Navarro County, and then it begins to intensify. So this is what we're going to be watching Kaufman County, Navarro County, Van Zant, Henderson, Anderson counties as we head between really midnight and about three o'clock in the morning. Most of this is well off to the east. That's where the better dynamics are once we get to that two, three o'clock time frame. Then we get this cold front to swing through. Behind it, it is definitely cold, and we're going to watch. We left a 10% chance in for maybe an isolated flurry, but we're not expecting anything to stick to the ground or cause any issues. This would be Friday morning. It's too windy, and Friday afternoon. It's going to be too warm. But then we get to Saturday, a high of 56, but an arrow indicating that those temperatures are going to fall. And then you see Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. I do not have high temperatures getting above freezing. Uh, we're going to be dealing with gusty winds, and we're going to be dealing with the possibility of some winter precip as well. So the reason we've alerted highs below freezing, lows in the single digits and teens, wind chills below zero, nearly area wide on Monday. Winter precip, that potential is something that we're watching closely. So while this is not the same as 2021, you still want to be prepared. This is the area that I think we have to watch as we head late Sunday into early Monday. Coverage is only at about 20 to 30 percent, but what we would be talking about, a snow ice mix possible, higher potential for this near the Red River and for our northeastern counties. And again, even though we're watching this, it is way too early to talk about accumulations. Anyone who's talking about accumulations, it's way too early. What we are expecting, though, is this Arctic air to really settle in as we head into Monday and Tuesday. We're talking about wind chill values in the single digits at zero, below zero Monday morning. And then as we head into Monday afternoon, we're barely getting out of the single digits for those feels like temperatures. So this is going to be dangerously cold over several days. We've got the temperatures falling on Saturday as that front really kind of settles in and then highs in the 20s, low 30s and lows in the teens for Monday and Tuesday.